Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this beautiful 2021 Hyundai Palisade. This one is the SEL trim and this one has two packages. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this one has. So as you guys see, this one is a 2021 SEL. It has two packages, convenience package, which is 2,400 and the premium package, was, which is 3,100 and a few packages down here. And then the total MSRP is 44,000. Of this 2021 Palisade, this one has the 3.8 V6 naturally aspirated engine and it's connected to a eight speed automatic transmission. And the fuel economy numbers on this one, 19 in the city, 24 highway and 22 combined. And the uh, horsepower numbers are 291 and the torque numbers are 262. So if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Hyper White. It's a $300 option and it looks really nice on this Palisade. I really like the way how the Palisade looks like. It looks very aggressive. And I really like the two um, split headlight design. The top portion is going to be the turn signal indicator with a little bit of the daytime running light. In the bottom, they're going to be more of that daytime running light that goes down and then you will have the high and low beam coming to the grill. It's massive and it's finished in silver and I really like the way how it looks. Hyundai badge is really, really big. And then in the bottom, they're going to be sensors. And in the bottom, they're going to be this nice brushed silver just to give it a nicer look. And for 2021, they're going to be a new trim. It's called calligraphy, I think and uh, basically gives you uh basically changes the rims i think and it gives you a few options inside the interior of this palisade so the side view of the palisade looks honestly amazing i love the headlights and the tail lights i love the fact that they are curved inside and it just gives the suv a nicer look like the um, daytime running light or the headlight is extended into the fender and the tail light is extended into the quarter panel and just looks very nice very special suv and it kind of looks a little bit like a cadillac from the back it just looks super luxurious but anyways guys i love the side view of the palisade and i think the palisade is my favorite suv i love the brushed aluminum door handles and the turn signal indicator look super cool and they are basically a uh, two light design there is one right there and then there is a line right there and i love the brushed aluminum or brushed silver in the bottom of the doors it just gives it a nicer look but anyways guys they're going to be one line right here on the top portion of the doors and another one in the bottom and for the rims i love the way how they look they are finished in matte silver or matte gray and they look honestly amazing but anyways the size of them are 245 50 20s and they just look amazing on this suv but let's go ahead and move to the back and i'll go ahead and show you the rest of this suv so here in the back of the palisade love the tail light design i like the fact that the tail lights are extended into the quarter panel and i love the tinted or smoked tail light design you will have h track right here up top they're going to be of course a third brake light and a spoiler in the middle they're going to be of course the hyundai badge looks nice and big palisade is written right underneath it and coming down they're going to be the sensors and i love this brushed aluminum piece in the bottom of the bumper and right there they're going to be the reflectors and right inside the reflectors that's where the reverse light is and for the exhaust the exhaust tips are connected to the exhaust pipe so that's really nice when companies uh, do that so here is the key for the palisade it's gonna have five binds on it lock unlock remote start tailgate release and a panic bind and they're going to be a uh, physical key inside of it and the weight and the look of this key is honestly very nice and it feels very good in your hand but anyways to open the tailgate just go ahead and click on this button and that will take care of opening the tailgate it does have the automatic uh, tailgate release and coming inside guys there is a ton of space even with the second uh, the third row up right here on the left they're going to be the controls for the uh, seats you can push them down by clicking those buttons 12 volts right here tie down on the right they're going to be only one tie down right here and there is actually a tie down right here in the bottom as well and right underneath they're going to be some storage place in the bottom and here is the privacy cover you could actually attach it here in the back if you want to 
right there right on top of the USB so it goes right there but anyways let's go ahead and drop the seats down so here is the second row you could actually drop the second row so the second row by clicking those buttons and here is the right one and those in the back they're actually um, automatic and here is the second one and it folds the headrest down as well so that's nice And honestly guys, there is a ton of space in the back of this SUV, as you guys see. And I love the fact that the lights are LED in this Palisade. All the way to the left are going to be two cup holders, the seat controls to bring them back up, USB right there, and same exact thing on the other side as well. So that's really nice. And I love the amount of space in this Palisade. And to close the trunk, there is going to be a button right here. Just go ahead and click on it, and that will take care of closing the tailgate and the palisade. So here is the door handle. It does not have a sensor right behind it. To lock and unlock the SUV, you have to click on this button. So here is the door panel on the palisade, and it stayed the same for the 2021. The top material right here, it's on the nice and softer side. The door handle feels good. Memory seats right here. I really like the trim goes all the way across the door the armrest feels good and this truck literally got off the truck so it will have all the plastic wraps on it here is the speaker everything just honestly feels amazing the door uh, control the uh, window controls switches door locks mirror controls everything feels very high quality and has a really nice sound and the bottom is plastic which is expected reflector on the door and there is a good amount of space uh, right here and one bottle holder here is the seat and I really like the white slash silver um, color in this uh, Palisade power seats of course and they are very nice and supportive all right guys so inside this Palisade it honestly feels and looks amazing in here everything just feels very good very high quality and the seats are super comfortable all the way to the left they're going to be of course the vents and they really have a really cool de design to them you could lock them by doing this and you could unlock them uh, by moving it to the right anyways in the bottom they're going to be few buttons you have brightness control blind spot link keep assist traction control electronic e-brake and the uh, tailgate release and i really like the paying attention to details right here on the electronic e-brake just feels very uh, high quality but anyways the steering wheel looks very good and it's wrapped in leather it's a little bit on the uh skinnier side the ring itself but it feels good it feels good uh while uh, of course uh grabbing it and the 10 and 2 grip is really really nice um, anyways guys of course you will have Hyundai in the middle it's nice and big you will have more of that um, sil brushed uh, silver on the steering wheel it just gives it a better uh, look all the way to the left they're going to be the uh, uh, Bluetooth controls and the volume controls and right behind the steering wheel they're going to be the paddle shifters all the way to the left they're going to be the turn signal indicators high beam and the headlight controls to the right they're going to be the wiper controls for, for the rear and front and the gauges look really good. I really like the LCD screen in the, in the middle. It's nice and big. And you can control it by clicking this button right here. There is a ton of uh, menus and um, options. You could uh, click on this to go down through the menus. So there's so many uh, things you could control. But anyways, guys, I really like the blue lights and the font is super easy to read to the right they're going to be of course this button to control the middle screen and the cruise control and adaptive cruise control all the safety features this uh, palisade comes with here is a 10.25 inch screen i really love the design of the uh, screen it's connected to the gauges and to everything just looks honestly amazing it's not a tablet style screen and i really like the look of it anyways here is how to go back to the main menu super easy very responsive and i love hyundai's new system here is the backup camera and it does have sensors 
right here and you could actually click on this and that will give you the up uh, or the down view super easy to use and coming down here of course you will have the vents volume button right here tune button right here here is the emergency lights and a, a few buttons right here to control let's say if you want to go to navigation here is a quick button to go to maps navigation radio so i love the fact they give you hard buttons underneath start stop button right here and coming down to the climate controls the climate controls are super easy fan speed ac here is the temperature it's a dual climate control it's actually a tri climate control since there is climate in the back here is Hyundai's uh, shift by wire mode selector right here you could go from snow eco comfort sport smart and you could click on this button to lock the re uh, rear wheels brake hold right here you will have heated seats and heated steering wheel and sensors to turn off the sensors and then turn them on uh, engine stop basically it will turn off the engine when you come to complete stop to save some gas and hill descent and right here there is a ton of space you will have two cup holders and I really like what Honda is doing with their um, cup holders in the Palisade. You could hide them just like this if you want to put something big. You will have wireless charger right here, USB. And to put those cup holders back, let's say if you want to use them, just go ahead and click on this button right here. It says push. And that basically puts the cup holders out. And if you don't want to use them, just go ahead and push them back inside just like this. And I really love this uh, feature. And to close it, just go ahead and push on this. Actually, to close it, you have to push it like this. And then if you want to open it, you push on it. And that will take care of uh, opening the, uh, basically the uh, storage place right here. And I love the look of this middle console. It's nice and raised. And in the bottom, they're going to be this bridge design. They're going to be a 12 volt and a USB underneath. You could put a whole purse underneath which is really really nice and for the armrest the armrest is a little bit on the harder side i wish it was softer but it has a really nice feel to it inside there's going to be a ton of space there's going to be a usb and a 12 volt and this tray right here is removable and i just love the fact that this palisade has a ton of storage places this is nice and it feels good i love the trim right here on the dash the screen has this gloss black surrounding on it and honestly guys everything just feels amazing in this palisade up top they're going to be of course the uh rear view mirror they're going to be uh, the garage controls right here and an auto dimming feature up top they're going to be the glasses holder and of course those lights are led and there is a button to actually turn on all the lights, which is this one. And there is individual buttons right here to turn the left or right light. And right here, there are going to be fuel buttons for the emergency button. Here is a Hyundai Blue Link, and I'm not exactly sure what's this button for. But anyways, this one has a sunroof. And to open the sunroof, of course, go ahead and push this back. And that will take care of opening the sunroof. So here is the back door and the back door is the same as the front and it does have the privacy cover on it. This material right here is nice and soft just like the front. Door handle feels really good. I really like the trim that goes across the door. This is wrapped in leather which is very nice. The armrest feels very nice and soft. Here is more trim right here next to the um, window switch. A little bit more storage right here. Two cup holders and a bottle holder in the bottom and this is of course plastic which is expected coming inside there's going to be a great amount of room in here and it does have the captain chair and here is a button to move the seat in the front and here is another button so let's go ahead and click on it and it does that and guys there's a good amount of headroom and leg room in here and the third row there's a good amount of leg room and a great amount of um, headroom inside and here are some vents up top with more lighting. Same thing here for the second row as well. To push the seat back, just go ahead and do this. And push it back. There is a small metal piece right here. Just go ahead and lift it up and push the seat back. And honestly, there's a great amount of space inside. Inside right here, they're going to be a uh, tri-climate control, heated back seats right here with a small LCD screen. And here is an off, uh, off button and auto button right here. 
115 outlet and a 12 volt inside. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I would like to thank Sam and Faraz here at Key Hyundai in Milford. If you guys are interested, make sure to come and check them out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put their information and details in the bottom of this uh, video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and as always, I'll see you next time.